close till I get up Time is barely on our side I don't wanna waste what's left The storms we chase are leading us And love is all we'll ever trust Yeah, no, I don't wanna waste what's left And on and on we'll go Through the wastelands, through the highways Till my shadow turns to sun rays And on and on we'll go Through the wastelands, through the highways And on Welcome back to our YouTube channel, Meet the Bratchers. My name is Melissa Bratcher, and I just want to talk to you today about my position of being a first lady. So the first question is, what is a first lady? Biblically, it is not a title in the Bible, which we know that, just a disclosure. Um, you won't find first lady in the word of God. But I do honor the position because I understand where the take came, comes from and why they name um, a pastor's wife a first lady. Um, we have in comparison of like the, the White House where you have the president. He is the leading guy and his wife is the leading lady. She is the first lady. So as he's the leader and he's over everyone in the United States of America, she is the first lady of the United States of America. So I'm just assuming, and that's my take on it, that that's what a first lady is. You're married to the pastor and you are the leading lady of that flock, of that house. Um, and we do have the terms of first men where the wives are the pastor. Um, in my opinion, even when the wife is a pastor, I feel like that she still should submit under her authority, which is her husband. Um, we have it all the time where God has called women to be the pastor. Um, and maybe, you know, he's not in a position or a calling on his life. He's just the husband of the pastor. But I still feel like the order is that that woman should still let her husband lead that he is the head of the household and that she submits to herself to under her authority. So what are the stereotypes of being a first lady? I have heard it all. Um, the first lady is supposed to wear a hat. Um, she has matching outfits with the shoes. She used to sit down, look pretty, you know, not really involved in the church. Um, sometimes a lot of um, people stereotype that the wife is trying to be the pastor of the church. Um, but my take again, if you know your authority and your husband is the pastor, you're going to follow under his leadership. Um, you're going to do what he's asking you to do as a wife, as a first lady. Um, so therefore, that is the difference, you know, but I know a lot of women try to be in control, but a lot of women are in control of their households. So it's just going to spill over at the church. Um, but again, I, that's not my take. I believe that a man is the headship and the wife is um, underneath her husband and his authority. All right. Um, the difficult things for me about being a first lady, I love being a first lady. Um, but the difficult thing is, is that... I'm not a typical first lady because I'm called into ministry as well. And um, me and my husband, we've always did ministry together where it's very uncommon sometimes because most of the time only one person is called. But in our case, we both are called into the ministry. We both are ministers. Um, my husband was ordained as an elder and things like that. I, I went through the eldership program with him. Um, it was required for the spouse to come along because they believe in couples doing ministry together in this two by two. So at that time, I hadn't had a ministry license. So therefore, I wasn't eligible to get my eldership license. But I went through the training the same way he did. I learned the same things that he did. And I was at every training class with my husband. So... Technically, I am equipped to be an elder, but I just have not been ordained 
to be an elder. Um, so it gets me in trouble a little bit because I am a leader and I'm not the typical first lady that just sits and, you know, be cute and have my kids in order and play an instrument. Even though I do sing on our praise team, I love to do that. And the role that I play is it's duo because um, I'm not a co-pastor. But I do assist my husband in his pastoral ship, um, leadership. So things that need to be taken care of, um, planned, dates, um, schedules, his clothing, all of those things that I am um, in charge of. So um, the spiritual side, the covering of the, the flock, praying, and although I pray for the, the congregation as well. Um, but the spiritual side is mostly what he does as his pastoral position. And he does lead us with his vision that God has given him. And he just gives me the vision and I take it and I run with it. So whatever he needs, I'm pretty much there to assist him on that. But sometimes that could get a little mixed up. Sometimes people may think that I'm trying to be the pastor. I'm trying to take over the church but I do nothing without my husband knowing about it and that's the good thing about our relationship because that's what goes on at home um, anything that um, needs to be ran by him or done I go to him first I never plan anything without the pastor knowing about so yeah that's that yeah so it's a great experience being a first lady um, some people um, are new to it so they don't really know how to handle having a first lady um, but generally people are nice and one thing that I do have issues with is when you're out with your husband and certain people will speak to your husband but they won't speak to the wife um, or they'll acknowledge the husband but they don't acknowledge the wife you know that to me is very um, I don't know I just don't understand that but it happens a lot and um, I've heard about it and now I've seen it actually happen like people will come up hey pastor and you know I don't know if they don't know if you're the wife or they just don't want to acknowledge you as the wife or I'm not sure but that could be the difficult side of it but I love being the first lady um, because I love, like I said, I love to help my husband. I love to assist him. Everything we do, we do together. Um, even if I'm doing something with my women's ministry, he's there to support me. And whatever he's doing at the church, I'm here to support him as well. And I'm really hands-on. I'm not a type of person that just come to church and play pretty and go home and like, oh, well, that's not my deal. You know, that's his deal. He's the pastor. I'm not. I don't really get into that so I love helping and I love the Lord in any way I can help any gifts talents or anything that I have I try to offer to our congregation but those are some things that I wanted to talk about that's on my heart because I am a first lady um, there's different questions that people um, have or different perspectives that people have on the first lady so I just wanted to um, speak on some of those things if you have any questions you want to know anything about my role or what I'm doing or um, how I feel about it or anything like that leave your comment below and again if it's your first time hello welcome to meet the Bratchers um, if you're a subscriber we say thank you for coming back uh, make sure you hit the like and the subscribe button if it's your first time and we would love to have you welcome to our Brat family. All right, well, we got some um, important announcements coming up soon. I can't wait to share with you guys about the Brat family. We have some changes going on, and we're so excited to share that with you, and it's coming up soon. But until then, we'll see you later. Bye-bye.